Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Ham Radio K0 PIR, my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you a TX Shield that I picked up at the Hamvention out in Xenia, Ohio. I picked it up at the Tapper booth. Real simple installation, the hardware. I took the case apart on my Raspberry Pi. I have a clear case. I took some snippers and snipped away some of the plastic so that TX Shield could sit in there. And I eventually had to cut away even more plastic so it would sit level. Just snap the uh, case in place and I removed the heat sink off of that chip right in the center. My heat sink was just attached with some glue. Wasn't a big deal to get it off. I pried it off with a small screwdriver. The TX Shield won't fit in there with a heat sink. And I haven't noticed any difference. I don't think uh, these things heat up very much. But I just want to show you where it sits on the GPIO pins. I was a little confused at first how it went in there. It sits towards one end. I had to cut away the end of the plastic case. You can see where the antenna goes in. And the antenna wires are just attached with some set screws. No big deal. Make sure you push it down good. And like I said, I had to cut away some more plastic so it would sit level. Okay, and once you get that installed, next is the installation of the software. Real easy to do. Uh, I'll put some links below. So next up is the software installation. Okay, once you get the hardware installed on your Raspberry Pi, that TX Shield, uh, the next thing you want to do is install the software. It's real simple to install. I've got a PDF file out there. I'll put a link below. And uh, we can just copy and paste. So I'm going to open up a window here. Go over and uh, copy and paste. And next is just uh, another copy and paste. And then we want to type in make. Once that's done, we just want to sudo make install. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, got an antenna connected to the TX Shield. Uh, you can go ahead and run a simple command just to try it out and see that the, the software will work. And I've, I've got this again uh, in uh, the PDF file. Having a little trouble with my mouse here. And I apologize for the uh, audio quality. I'm using the uh, uh, microphone on this. Uh, Logitech webcam and it's not the best. So uh, this is real simple. Of course you want to change out your uh, put your call sign in your grid square and uh, just hit enter and there it goes. It's waiting for the transmission. I'm going to hit a control C and uh, I always get that error uh, hot signal too and I, I don't know what that is but uh, the, ne the next one is after you uh, decide or, or try it out and you're sure it's going to work then you can run a, uh, a longer command and what this one will do is run seven transmissions it'll transmit seven times and then stop automatically and this is what i use and of course you want to uh, uh, change out uh, put your call sign and your grid square in there and this is the one I use. And there it goes. It's waiting for the uh, the next window. Or uh, transmission window. Now the problem that I've had is. When I start these transmissions. I'm using VNC. And I'm connected through a wireless uh, router. And my Pi is connected to the wireless router. And my laptop's connected to the wireless router. And when I start these transmissions it kills the Wi-Fi on the Raspberry Pi. 
Now, if I have a keyboard, mouse, and a monitor hooked up to the Raspberry Pi, I don't have any problems with it. But the way it is right now, going through the Wi Fi, uh, it will kill the Wi Fi and then I lose my VNC connection. And I have to wait until it finishes transmitting and then the Wi Fi will come back and I'm able to uh, get back onto the Raspberry Pi and see what I did or see the transmissions. Uh, the other solution is to run it a hardwired with an Ethernet cable, and that works fine too. I connected it to my router, didn't have any problems with it. So uh, that's the that's the issue I've been having. It kills the Wi-Fi. So, you know, there's a workaround. Uh, either use an Ethernet cable or have a monitor, keyboard, and mouse hooked up to it. And I have ordered a touch screen for it. Uh, that I think is going to be my solution, and then I won't have to uh, mess around with the Wi-Fi. Okay, I have it running. You see my antenna coming out the side of it. Just two small wires. I have a keyboard, mouse, and monitor hooked up to it. I've got WSJTX running on my laptop. I'm monitoring my signal. And then over on the whisper net, I'm uh, checking to make sure that I'm getting out. And I'm getting out. It's working. This uh, little antenna is just... Uh, Inside my office, a couple of wires, each one 17 feet long. There it is on the ICOM 7300. That's what it looks like. And this is the monitor on the Raspberry Pi. That is Whispery Pi running. I tried a couple of different setups. I have the two wires coming out for the antenna. And that's running off the power supply. The power supply that came with it. I had to wrap the uh, power supply cord around a, a ferrite core. And then now I have it running off a battery. And you'll see the little white cable coming out the back. That goes to that white battery there. And again, just using that battery, I'm getting out. The uh, whisper net is uh, picking me up. Guys are picking me up all over. That's what it looks like on the 7300. I tried something else, a different antenna. I hooked a coax up to it. And uh, that coax runs to the antenna. And again, it's just in my office. That antenna runs around the wall of my office. Two 17-foot lengths of wire. And guys are picking me up. Thanks for watching. 73 and good DX.